Hi guys, this is Nichelle Turpin and welcome to my channel. Now today I'm going to be reviewing something that I got through the post. Now I saw this advertised on TikTok, it's called Hello Dame and it's a fake lashes essentially but I think they're aimed at the more older woman as you can see by the postcard here. It's more a case of they're not too big. You know, as you get older, you want to be a bit more sedate and natural looking like myself. So they're not really like big, massively fake lashes, but they're meant to be naturally fake, if that makes sense. That's like an oxymoron, isn't it? I've never opened it. I just got this through the post. I just put my makeup on and I haven't done anything to my lashes. As you can see, they're quite boring and they're small and they're not voluptuous so this is invisi bond by hello dames i think it, this is like glue and you open it up there's the wand this is its strap line basically it's the ultimate lash brand for beginners which is great i'm a beginner i've never put on fake lashes before this is my first time and it show was just surfing through tiktok as, as i do this has come up a few times on my for you page so Clearly, they're trying to market it to someone like me. So let's see, how much did I spend on this? I'll put it up here, the exact amount. I don't know what possesses me. I'm just I'm just like a shopaholic at the moment. And I think it's because I'm moving to Vietnam and I'm just trying to buy things um, because I think I can't buy anything or I won't be able to get anything in Hanoi. But I'm sure I will, but it might cost a lot more. I don't know, I don't know, I've never been to Hanoi. I've been to Ho Chi Minh City, but not been to Hanoi, so I don't know what's available. So you open it up like this. I think it comes with, oh, oh nice, okay. So they're all the same. Um, I didn't think they were all the same. I thought they were different for some reason. Apparently they last a month. So yeah, I don't know how. And it's labeled left and right. So yeah, ooh, okay. You can go onto the website and look at the tutorial. So I might do that before I put it on. And this is, what's this little thing here? This might be mascara? No, it's not. It's like eye serum i don't know what it is they call it liner oh and this is natural maybe they do different types but this one is natural so using tweezers or fingers lift the lash out of the box measure the lash against your eye you may want to trim them it says um, i'll let you read the rest and then it's basically you kind of bond it with the liner that they give you you put the glue the liner on the actual eyelash and then you lay the lash on your upper lash line and repeat on the other side okay so then what's what's the invisi bond for then am i missing something here i'm going to go online look at their instructions and i'll be back so i'm back now it does say to apply mascara if you want to i don't know what this one is that came inside this box this invisi bond it looks like i, I tested it out it looks like like mascara but i don't know and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, anyway, so I think you put mascara according to the instructions on the website. Don't get me wrong, I love a natural look. I do like a fake look. In my 20s and 30s, and even now, I use the YSL faux lash effect. But I'm just finding it it's becoming clumpier. And before in my 20s, I thought the clumpiness, oh yeah, was sexy. But now I just want something clean and natural looking, but really long as well. And that's why I got these, but let's see how it goes. So I'm just going to start with the top. That's the lash there. Oh, I've dropped it. I've dropped it, guys. I've dropped it. Oh, here it is. Oh, I did a mistake, by the way. I wasn't meant to put my eyeshadow on first. So you were meant to keep it completely clean. So this is an invisi bomb thing. So you're meant to just put it on like this. I've never done this before. I hope it works out. Oh, I didn't measure it against my eyes. Oh, well. Okay, so you're meant to let it go tacky. What, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. This is my right. And then you're meant to squeeze the fake lash. Oh, God. Look at that. That's a mistake, isn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please don't stick on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought it was going to be super glued on. That would have been a disaster. I can't get it right on the... Right, let's try this again. Calm. Let's be calm about this. It's a lot of pressure. I hate this eyelash business. It's meant to be easy. I just want something easy, you know? I can't be faffing around with this. I've got three kids. Am I doing it in the right place? The video on TikTok made it look really easy, but clearly I need practice. Maybe it is really easy. So when you put the glue on, it's really interesting. It's like purpley, shimmery light. <sighs> okay, 
okay deep breath now there's no point in me sticking it up right at the top i think i'm aiming it to be like at the end of my lashes i don't know how you put on fake lashes because i've never done this before but i'm guessing that's that's what you do you put it on the end so it says gently blow on the lash and let the liner go tacky count to 40 okay i didn't do that so let's do that apply several coats of the liner okay i didn't do several coats did i so let's do that again i guess i should have learned my lesson you should read instructions thoroughly i've never been one to read instructions thoroughly so just keep applying this glue i guess i'm just overexcited you know i'm telling you now if this is going to take me more than like a minute in the day to do this i'm not i'm not going to use it i don't have time for this but i'm guessing i will become an expert over time um excuse the mess in this room this is i'm in my parents house now because we're shipping we've shipped out all our things in our old house and it's been rented now okay i said several so i've done two i'm going to put on a third okay now that is a lot now no more i think that's going to be enough you can see how much i put on by the way do you like my earrings i got these from accessorize the other day i got them on sale i think they were about seven pounds and also sorry for my hair it's a mess right now i'm getting it cut i've decided i i want like short hair and like i like a bob a long bob so that's what i'm going to keep my hair as for the next few years or indefinitely i'm done with long hair i think long hair is nice when you're young but i think uh, shorter hair when you're older makes you look younger I'm ready to do this one more time so here we are again it looks very gluey they said to make it look tacky now let's try this what do you think that's without the side and this is with it's not earth shattering is it it does look natural it's missing like uplift you know you want it to be a bit more curlyish wavish uplift so i'm trying now the left ones see you can see the actual lash curl let's try putting the the uni bond again it's not bad putting it on once you know what you're doing to be fair i still don't think i know what i'm doing exactly but it's okay it's it's nice i'm just paranoid that you can see a line in between you can see my skin it needs to be literally on the lash line so i'm going to do more coats uh i'm going to do three coats i think okay and then wait another 40 seconds so let's do this again i am going to close my eyes put it on the lash line it keeps going up i can't i'm struggling to put things on my bloody lash line there you go now the problem here is this one starts here halfway across my eye and it ends here and the other one starts like kind of a third so i need to do i'm going to do this again <sighs> okay right i will get this right eventually okay so here you go i mean again i've put it on i've put them both on i've done the best i can do if i'm being honest i think practice will make perfect this is my first attempt at putting on fake lashes ever are they mind-blowingly amazing are my lashes like amazingly curly no and long no could a mascara achieve this look i think so i think the right mascara could achieve the same look and it would be less faffing. To be fair, I think I should um, give this a try for a bit longer. Let's do this for a week or two and see. This one's just irritating a bit more. Um, I still don't think I put it on 100% properly, but I mean, regardless, I don't think it's gonna get, you know, it's not gonna affect what it looks like. It looks nice. It does look nice to be fair. I take it back it does look pretty and then i think what you're meant to do is put your eyeshadow on as normal your eyeliner on as normal and then take it from there so yeah so let's see how it stands the day and then i will be back later the more i put them on and get used to it they should be done in like you know it should be done in like five seconds 
So I will see you soon when I'm about to take them off and I'll give you a all day wear review. Okay, see you soon, bye. Okay, hi guys, I'm back. So I'm going to take off my makeup now and it's time for bed. Well, it's seven o'clock, but yeah, for me it's time for bed. They've been okay, they've been fine. My mum commented that, uh, why did I start my eyeliner like a third of the way through? So that's because I didn't put eyeliner at the top after putting on the eyelashes. So that's something you need to think about. Um, and I didn't. I just didn't want it to be really thick at the top. I still don't think I put it on 100% properly if I'm being honest. But just to show you, they have lasted, you know, very well. They do look nice. I have to say they look nice, big, natural. And I think if I carry on using them and if I actually, um, you know, get used to them and do it quickly, then I, th uh, yeah, I'll be using them all of this week and probably this month just to see what they're like. So let's take them off. I don't know, I can't remember what the instructions said about taking them off, but I think they're just coming off anyway. So I'm just going to try and, oh yeah, pull it away. That's one. That just came off quite quickly. You can see the glue. Oh, did I take an eyelash off myself? No, but you can see how the glue works. There it is. The glue was on there. So that, that's come off and apparently this can be used up to a month. So yeah, let's see. Right, now let's take this one off. Now, that one was easy to take off. No, this is also... So, yeah, that's just come off very easily too. Not bad, all in all, that you can see that. That's my left. Um, and then these are back to my normal lashes again. So, I've asked a few people, can you tell that they're fake lashes? No one could tell they were fake lashes. They didn't... They weren't wild by them. They didn't say, oh, wow, they're really long lashes. Like I usually get with my YSL mascara but they were nice they were nice they are natural i think next time if i'm buying fake lashes like this i would want a bit more more longer a bit more a bit fuller uh, but we'll see let's see how the natural goes for now also i'm going back to work after two years i think it's good to just be a bit natural at the beginning and i'm um, again to remind you i'm in my 40s i'm 43 now so maybe natural is the way to go and uh, yeah so that's it so i'm going to take off the rest of my makeup and i will see you soon thank you for watching my video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to know when my new videos come out okay thank you see you soon bye